Apple Device Enrollment Program Device Enrollment Program, or DEP, helps organizations easily deploy and configure Apple devices. Businesses and educational institutions can deploy iPhones, iPads, Macs, and Apple TVs purchased directly from Apple or from participating authorized resellers. With DEP, devices can be set up to auto-enroll in MDM and pre-configured for out-of-the-box use. Here is why you would want to join DEP. You can deploy devices in an automated fashion, configure devices, and enroll in MDM totally hands-free. You can supervise devices over the air. No need to connect to a Mac. The MDM profile can be locked. Users won't be able to remove them. MDM enrollment can be set mandatory so that even if a device is wiped, it still can't be reused without enrolling in MDM. How to enroll your organization in DEP? First, create an agent account at the Apple Deployments Portal. This account is used for DEP and VPP programs in your organization. Signing up for DEP will require you to provide a business email and phone number, a verification contact, the DUNS number, and an Apple customer number or DEP reseller ID. So before starting the enrollment process, make sure you have all these details handy. There are a few things you should remember. A fresh email address. The email address you provided will be used to create a new Apple ID. So make sure that this email is not already associated with any other Apple services. It would be better if you use a group email instead of a personal email address. Add multiple admins. In case the one person who manages the company DEP account is not available, you shouldn't be in trouble. So add more than one admins to manage the account. Add multiple verification contact numbers. Provide more than one contact number for OTP verification in case one gets lost. A device that was enrolled in DEP once and then removed cannot be added again directly. You need Apple Configurator to get it into DEP again. How do you get the Dunn's number? You can get them by requesting at Dunn and Bradstreet website. This is the usual way of obtaining a Dunn's number. Every branch of the same company will need a separate Dunn's number. While requesting, you need to provide some info, like the legal entity name, your headquarters address, mailing address, and work contact information. DNB may contact your company directly and request more company info. Make sure you keep your company registration details close. It may take up to 5 to 30 business days to receive the Dunn's number and another two days for Apple to receive your Dunn's number. Optionally, if you join the Apple Developer Program, you can request Dunn's number from the Developer Portal. Can you enroll any Apple device to DEP? Devices with iOS 7.0.4 or higher, Mac OS 10.9 or higher, and tvOS 10.2 or later, which are purchased after the 1st of March 2011, can only be enrolled in DEP. These devices should be purchased directly from Apple or from an authorized reseller or carrier. At least, that used to be the case. Now any iOS device running iOS 11 can be enrolled in DEP using Apple Configurator 2.5 or later. What if you purchased your device directly from Apple? If you have purchased your device directly from Apple, you will have an Apple customer number associated to your company. While creating the DEP account, provide this Apple customer number for syncing the purchased devices or new devices to DEP. If you have multiple Apple customer numbers from different purchases, you should add all of them in the DEP account. Also, when purchasing devices from an Apple store, make sure they have an enterprise business section. What if you purchased your device from a channel carrier like Verizon or AT&T or an Apple authorized reseller? Well, then, you will have to provide their DEP reseller ID in your DEP portal. If you purchased from multiple resellers, you will need to provide all of their DEP reseller IDs. How do the devices you purchased from carriers or resellers get linked to your company's DEP account? Just adding the DEP reseller ID won't associate your purchased devices to DEP. You'll need to provide your DEP customer ID to the reseller and have them submit your purchases to Apple DEP. Once Apple verifies the purchase information, your device is recognized as a DEP device. Once you have your devices recognized as DEP, you can set up virtual servers on your DEP portal, each synced to a different MDM server. 
You can add or remove devices and move them between these virtual servers, which automatically appear in the linked MDM. I guess that's all you need to know about DEP. Once you've got your DEP devices ready, do check out our next video on configuring DEP, linked in the description down below. I'll be showing you how to enroll your devices with Hexnode MDM and have them fully configured for out-of-the-box use.